let us start today's topic underground cables requirements requirements of the cables are many shall us, uh, shall we, uh, we shall discuss few of them an underground cable can be defined as a group of individually insulated one or more conductors which is put together and finally provided with number of layers of insulation to give proper mechanical support the conductors actually used in the cables are uh, aluminum or annealed copper while the insulation is commonly pvc or other chemical compositions many types of cables are available depending upon the nature of conductors number of conductors types of insulation used etc what are the basic necessary requirements of the cables let us discuss one by one the size of the conductor used must be such that it should carry the specified load without overheating and keeping the voltage drop swell within the permissible limits second point is at the voltage level for which cables are designed the insulation thickness must be proper so as to provide high degree of safety and reliability the cables must be surrounded by number of layers of an additional insulation so as to give proper mechanical strength and protection thus the cable can withstand the rough use at the time of laying them the materials used in uh, in this manufacturing of cables must be such that there is complete chemical and physical stability throughout you are seeing the construction general construction of cable how it will be the layers i have shown here the general construction the cable shown here is single conductor underground cable what are the various parts of it we will see one by one conductor or core first one this section consists of see here this section consists of single conductor or more than one conductor the conductors are also called as cores a cable with three conductors is called three core cable the conductors used are aluminum or annealed copper the conductors are stranded conductors in order to provide flexibility to provide flexibility to the cable next is insulation next is insulation each conductor or core is covered by insulation of proper thickness the commonly used insulating materials are varnished cambric vulcanized bitumen and impregnated paper next metallic sheath metallic sheath the insulated conductors are covered by lead sheath or aluminum sheath this provides the mechanical protection but mainly restricts moisture and other gases to reach the insulation next is bedding next is bedding the metallic sheath is covered by another layer this one you can see this is called bedding the bedding consists of paper tape compounded with a fibrous material like jute strands or hessian type hessian tape the purpose of bedding is to protect the metallic sheath from corrosion and from mechanical injury in uh, resulting due to armoring next armoring this layer consists of the layers of galvanized steel wires which provide protection to the cable from the mechanical injury mechanical injury next is serving the last layer above the armoring it is called serving it is a layer of fibrous material like jute cloth which protects the armoring from the atmospheric conditions you can see here let next class let us start types of cables before that you should have there will be so many insulating properties of a cable you will have so many insulating properties of a cable that also i will discuss in the next class